Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to update your uh, WX Form Builder application. When I first got my WX Form Builder I went to SourceForge. I'll open this link, I go right click open link and we'll go to SourceForge and here it says all development has moved to GitHub so I right click that and then go to GitHub. So we go into GitHub. There's quite a few open source applications that are available on GitHub. So we're in WX Form Builder. And then what we do is we don't click here to clone or download. What we do is we scroll down to the page, the README section of WX Form Builder. You've got download binaries, so we'll go to GitHub releases, and here we are. The latest version is 3.6.2, and it's an execute file, so I'll just click that. Okay, and I'll save that. I'll go to downloads and it's saving there so just wait till it's downloaded there we go, I click the folder to open the folder Okay. Okay, so here's the folder, the downloads folder, and then what I do is I double left click. And I'm in Windows 10, so I get the question do you want to allow this app? Uh, from an unknown publisher to ta make changes to your device and I select yes so now we have the installation application so I click I accept the agreement I click next uh, this is where WX Form Builder will be saved in the C drive on the C drive program files WX form builder so click next the folder already exists would you like to install to the folder anyway yes I had a previous installation that I uninstalled the folder is there so I select yes uh, if you didn't have a previous installation uh, it'll just go straight through. Another thing is if you do have an old version of WX Form Builder uninstall that first and then go through this process the folder will still be there so that's why I'm getting this question the folder exists. Uh, yes I would like to install to that folder anyway. Okay and full installation yes so I go next I go next, I select next, ready to install, I click install, so it's installing WX Form Builder, ok, these are all the updates that have been made to WX Form Builder. I click next, uh, launch WX Form Builder, yes, I'll leave that ticked and I go finish and WX Form Builder should start. Okay, there is WX Form Builder version 3.6.2, close that. Okay, so that's how you update to the latest version of WX Form Builder. Uh, 
Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below this video. Also, if you like the video, click the like button. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel uh, so that you can get uh, more videos on how to use WX Form Builder. So, till the next tutorial, you have a good day. Goodbye.